accelerating technological advance has put machine guns in the hands of toddlers. We have not increased in wisdom. In fact, I believe we have lost wisdom in the West, and yet we have gained enormously and are gaining very fast in power. Inevitably, if you put power in the hands of people who have no wisdom, this is a formula for disaster. We're not aware that our reality is constructed by two different systems, if you like, that of the right hemisphere and that of the left. In the history of the West, three times we have been in a position where, to begin with, a civilization flourished when it kept both these visions together. But then in every case, and I believe we're repeating the pattern for the third time, the mindset became locked into a way of thinking which is that of the left hemisphere, which is useful, but it cannot be our way of contacting reality. A simple way of putting it is, it's like uh, mistaking the map for the territory. One of the features of the left hemisphere is that it's the part of your brain that controls your right hand with which we grasp things and it controls also the aspects of our mental life whereby we say, oh I've grasped it. But unfortunately it doesn't know what it doesn't know and it therefore neglects a whole range of things which the right hemisphere does know, but the right hemisphere has no speech. And so the knowledge that the right hemisphere has is not easily expressible. So the left hemisphere's take is an exclusive one. Either this is right or that is right. And therefore what I know excludes what you know. It doesn't see things contextually. It doesn't see individuals. It's not prepared to listen to another point of view. Whereas the right hemisphere's take is a both and take that there's a room for what the left hemisphere does. But there's also a point in synthesis and imagination. A lot of the work one does as a psychiatrist is helping people to see that there is a good side to what it is that they fear and dislike in themselves, but there is also a dark side to the bits that they pride themselves on. And that you cannot get rid of the dark side, you accept it and work with moving it towards something creative. I'm a keen proponent that in education, um, one of the most important things one must do is teach people always to invert everything they believe and see the value in it. In fact, I believe there should be in government a department of inverse policy. So whatever the government is uh, proposing, there should be a department that is dedicated to seeing what would happen if we did the precise opposite. But really it's an intellectual exercise that we all need to do. If we start being too certain about anything, it means we've missed something else. I think we should have a system where anyone can say anything, but they must say it in a way that is not inflammatory and that is open to reason and discussion. This brings us to a very important metaphysical point, which is that we need division and we need union. It's not just that union is marvellous, all is one and that's the perfectly wise point of view. It's not that everything is separate and distinct and atomistic. We need to bring these two apparently opposite points of view together. So I think we're, we're enduring now a backlash that we could have avoided by having a mature conversation. Yes, this is good, but also we've got to take into account that.